everybody, this is Matthew Pose with Pose Acoustics, and in this episode I'm going to talk about which surround speakers you should be getting, monopole, dipole, or bipole. Actually, this is a really simple one. Um, originally, when dipole and bipole speakers were developed for surround use, the idea behind it was to try to create a, um, an uncorrelated set of reflections, if you will, behind you that gave a perception of greater spaciousness. At the time, during a fairly primitive surround encoding, if you will, approach, that worked really well for creating something where there was a lot of reflections around you, just like you would have in an actual um, kind of surround environment, if you will. Um, and, and so it was a good idea. Uh, dipole versus bipole, I mean, I don't know. It's a silly point, I guess, at this point in time. That's the, the, the real point I'm going to make here is you should be using monopole. At this point in time, there is no reason to be using those. I understand there's some who still like them, but with higher channel counts and the modern discrete surround formats, the idea that you needed that went away. Um, and in fact, it's probably going to hinder performance. Some people like that approach still, and the reason they like it is it creates a much more diffused surround field and the speakers are not localizable. So let me say that if the speakers are localizable, it's not because you're using monopoles, it's because your room is bad or your setup is bad. So as an example, I'm sitting very close to this wall right now. Uh, my head is probably two feet from the wall. If I was to mount surround speakers directly behind me, uh, let's say over here, I can't look at what I'm pointing at over here, so really close to my head, I will localize those because I'm two feet from the wall and I've put speakers right next to my head. That's a bad idea. This is not, you know, what I need to do is put the speakers farther out and I shouldn't be sitting two feet from the wall. So I suppose if you have a highly compromised seating position, then it makes sense to use a compromised speaker to try to offset that deficiency. If you're, if you're in a correct room, where you're sitting a decent distance from the sidewalls and the back wall, then you should be using monopoles. So really it's not about monopole, uh, dipole or bipole in certain scenarios, it's about monopole and then making sure you get the room right. I think a more common issue is that a lot of uh, monopole speakers have very narrow directivity. I'm saying that wrong. Their directivity is such that when you get to the extreme angles that you may be sitting towards them and as a surround speaker, that you could be compromising sound. And so it's not that they have narrow directivity, but like all speakers that use dome tweeters are gonna probably have collapsing high frequencies at high, really high frequencies. So the collapsing um, high frequency directivity at high frequencies, known as beaming, means that if you're sitting pretty far off axis, the speaker is going to sound more dull. Now the other problem is that a lot of speakers unfortunately are just not all that well designed. And because they're not all that well designed, I just realized there's a bright light in my face, because they're not all that well designed, um, if you um, get too far off axis, the response changes too. So when they're right next to your head but far off, like they're supposed to be in a, for side surrounds in a, in a surround system, it's not a big deal. But if you're sitting behind them or in front of them in a multi-road theater, or if you've placed them arguably in the wrong position, like behind you, such that you're sitting, let's say, 20 or 30 degrees off axis to the speaker, that could affect the directivity enough that it makes for bad sound. The same is true of the speakers behind you. If they're out pretty far to the left and the right of you, but, but behind you and you're kind of close to them, then the angle is going to be such that you're going to be getting a bad response. That's not a reason to go to a bipole, which for instance would have much wider dispersion. What you need is to make sure you're getting proper speakers with good directivity and you're placing them in such a way that you're sitting within their optimal, we'll call it listening window. Um, so to, this is gonna be a shorter video. <laughs> you should be using monopoles. Anybody arguing for anything else doesn't understand the formats. Dolby Atmos was designed around all monopole speakers. That's what's expected. That's what's going to give you the best sound quality. If your experience has been that there's something wrong with monopoles, it's not the monopole. It's your room and setup. 
And that's what you want to focus on fixing. So hopefully this video was helpful. Subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.